With gas prices going up, lighter weight travel trailers are going to become more popular, like this one. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the Honey Badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the Jayco J Sport 12C. It's a really cool tent trailer with a lot of features. If this is the first time you have seen one of my walkthrough videos, I do about a five to minute, five to eight minute walkthrough video of the entire unit. Talk about it without any sound effects or special effects or weird editing. Okay, so let's get started. So it has room for one 12 volt battery, a propane tank, and it actually has a motor that brings it up and down electrically but you can also do it, let's say, with a, a cordless if, let's say, the uh, motor goes out. Okay, so it has a great backup system. It has stabilizers front and back to give you more stability. Storage box up front. And then over here, we're going to see that it is a 30 amp uh, tent trailer, and that's important. You're going to want to know that for later, okay? Uh, the weight on it, which is the GVWR, is 3,375 pounds. It has a 3,000 pound axle. And if you look here, the dry weight is 2,751 pounds. So the majority of your vans and your small SUVs can tow this. And it's really a step up from camping in a tent. So this is not for the advanced RVer. This is for the folks that want to get up off the ground and don't want to be in a tent in bear country. Maybe you want to be a little more on the uh, off the ground, have more space, have more room to work around, stuff like that. Okay, it does have a propane hot water heater. It does have a propane electric refrigerator, outside shower. And as we walk around, it does have an aftermarket hitch to put like a bike rack on the back only when you're traveling. Outside speakers. And this particular one, if you look where that zippered bag is, actually has an awning. Now, there are folks that don't like these because they're afraid if they go into the woods, the bears will tear into the fabric. That's a very rare thing to happen. Even when people have regular tents, it's rare for a bear to rip into someone's tent unless you have like cooked meat inside of there. So, you know, I understand the concept, but it's not something that happens every single day all the time, at least that I'm aware of. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments section. Now, the really cool thing is this one has an air conditioner a slide out and a furnace so you can sleep two people here on this side one to two people on the couch depending on how you can fold it out depending on the size of the children the dinette turns into a bed that'll sleep up to two more people and then you have this bed over here which will sleep up to two people so realistically six to eight folks can sleep in here you got a two burner stove you have sink thermostat and you have what we call the wet bath so behind the curtain here you have your toilet and your shower so realistically this has everything most people want in a tent trailer okay and it even has some good storage look it has the fans already it has the screens nice drawer storage by the way you got a cabinet here which you can store a lot of cool stuff in down here below the couch, more areas for storage. But let's let's face it, that storage box up front and your tow vehicle is where you're going to put the majority of your stuff when you're traveling. Uh, and then you got a little ice box. I mean, it's just a little propane electric refrigerator. Very tiny, but again, better than nothing. Most of the time when you're camping in this type of unit, you're bringing a cooler. And by the way, that's a great segue. I actually have a 12 volt cooler that I personally use by 
uh, set, uh, I'm sorry, SETI coolers, and I'm going to link it in the description box below so that way you guys can kind of check it out. If you use the promo code HBRV Lifestyle, you actually get a discount. Okay. Uh, now, in the top right hand corner of this video, you're going to see another really cool type of tent trailer, but they kind of call it a teardrop. Okay. But it really is an alternate tent trailer. It's really cool. Uh, don't forget about the merchandise store and make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.